to my beekeeping uh, mentor. And this is just, hives will happen in funny places. This is a tilted tree and it just, they just formed underneath this baby book to straight remove it. It's, like, it's really not that bad. It's, um, one of the things with, uh, you know, there's this new studies out of the University of Riverside and they have a big, a nice apiculture department. And they're finding out that the old wives' tail about scraping it off with a knife or something like that is really a, not a good method to get the stinger on. They, they thought that there was a sack, because when a bee, uh, when you get stung and the bee, you brush the bee off or the bee pulls itself off, its stinger is left behind with this pumping sack. And the bee's going to die. Its intros get pulled out. So bees really give up their life to protect the hive. Um, or you, you you accidentally get stung because you know it gets in your hair or something like that. And there's a lot of acci acci accidental stings. You go to grab something, there's a bee there, and you know you get stung. And bees are real quick to, to sting if you if you detain them. <laughs> so don't don't detain a bee. Um, you get, what they're finding is if you if you wait more than four seconds, you're going to get all the venom is delivered. The venom's strong, and if you have a, a, a reaction to it, it could be really bad. But if you, if you get the stinger off really quickly, which you can, if you just get this mindset of knock the bee off, because when you get stung, it's very much like when you touch something hot. When you touch something hot, you pull away automatically. When you get stung, you automatically go to that spot and you, br you brush it. So you brush the bee off. Now there's the stinger. And it used to be that they said scrape it off of something. It's going to take you 10 seconds to get your pocket knife out or your credit card. Out. Unless you're my ex-wife, she can get her credit card off. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get, yeah, you gotta get the stinger out, and the best way to do it is actually just crush it and rub it. And it sounds really weird, but it, you you just need to rub it off, and what happens is it just gets pulverized and breaks off. You're gonna stop the pumping really fast, and you can easily do that in less than a second. You know, there is gonna be a tiny part of the stinger stuck under your skin, but it, I. The, the studies are showing that the best is instead of getting all the venom, if, you know, if you're allergic, it could be it could be deadly. And they felt that most a lot of people that are stung, they they they've hesitated, or somebody in the group said, "Oh wait, let me get something." They got all the venom, and, they, and it might be a you know life and death situation. So, so the key is get it all fast. Do you have a question? Yeah, doesn't squishing them release some pheromone that causes the rest of the Absolutely. swarm to attack? Yeah. But how, but you're going to, you need to get that bee off, right? Well, yeah, sometimes you just shake it off because you're going to get not stung if, anyways. At but that not point. if, well, this is if you, if you get stung, when, when you get stung. You, you know, not, not if there's a bee on you. If there's a bee on you. I mean, you, when you're getting stung, you mean you're going to get stung some more when you're working with bees. At least no, that's what happens to me. Not, not always. But the thing is.